Ross County began this weekend second bottom in the playoff place. Anything other than victory over Kilmarnock would see them stay there and probably fair to say that most neutrals hoping for a county win to further stoke the excitement at the bottom end of the table. There for us was Rob McLean. Ross County are without injured left-back Evangelos Oikonomu, Ben Gordon replaces him and Rocco Quinn drops out as Melvin De Leo returns after suspension. It's the same Kilmarnock team that lost last weekend at home to Partick Thistle. Chris Boyd looking to add to the four goals he scored already this season against County. A powerful run from Jordan Sloot. Still going and held back by Jerome Tesselar, well there was a clear tug at his shirt which the officials seem to have missed completely the county fans looking for a penalty although the offence clearly I think is outside the box chasing the opening goal county such an important day this for both these teams that's Slew and De Leo and Philip Kiss opens the scoring for Ross County, it's his sixth goal for the Dingwall team. And this one could be hugely significant. The game needed a touch of class, and this was it. Guided in by Kiss, 1-0. Lovely pass with the outside of the left boot from Graham Carey. Ben Gordon. Richie Britton. In goes Lee Ashcroft and the referee is pointing to the penalty spot. Got this all wrong, the young centre-back. A major moment in Ross County's season. And Richie Britton gets the job done. 2-0 Ross County. Achilles substitute Sammy Klingen. Headed away by Chikos. In from Rory McKenzie. Missed by Scott Boyd, not missed by Chris Boyd. He has scored again against Ross County. And it brings the game back to life for Kilmarnock. Two minutes from time. Mackenzie's cross misjudged. Boyd in for 2-1. Can Alan Johnston's team strike again? The Klingon corner. There's Barber with a free header. And it's turned around the post by keeper Mark Brown. The up and under from Richie Britton. Controlled by Johan Arquan. Turns away from Ashcroft. Arquan shot deflected. Great save, Craig Sampson. Ross County would love a third goal. But it looks as if 2-1 will be enough. I think that final pass was missing today. Whether it be quality crosses in the box or testing their goalie for, for shots, um, we we're maybe lacking that. We've shown over the season that we can you know, play in big games and give big performances. And um, Today was a big game and uh, it was a big performance for my players. Well, a great win for Ross County and the neutrals. Less so, of course, for Kilmarnock. Um, Jordan Slew, an interesting character in Scottish football, Craig Gordon. He's got uh, zero goals, 17 appearances for County, but he does, he does sort of make things happen, doesn't he? Yeah, he seems quite uh, unpredictable, a little bit ungainly at times. Um, but certainly a big presence and, and a really awkward guy to play against. He's, uh, he's travelled a long way with the ball there, uh, gets a few ricochets, keeps going, looks like he's in on goal and, and should have got a foul that look, did look to be just outside the box. But... Uh, uh, even here, he, he plays a nice pass, you know, so he, he is contributing to the team. He's, he's setting up goals for others, and so that's a really good strike and a good team goal. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely contributing in other areas other than, than goal scoring. Yeah, much needed result there for Ross County, Pat, to stop them from being uh, kind of drift, possibly. How worried should Kilmarnock fans be? Uh, very concerned, definitely. Um, and I'd love to so come up with some really complicated reason why as, But in the end, it's Chris Boyd. If Chris Boyd scores and keeps on scoring goals, they have got a right good chance of getting out of it. And that's it, full stop. They're fortunate they've got Chris Boyd because there's other teams that haven't got goal scorers, so that's what will keep them up. And uh, he's capable of doing it. He's capable of dragging them just far enough, but it'll only be just. OK, 